Hooray for a great day! Welcome to our class, Great for Learners. It's Miss Patricia Damien Boneo, your teacher for today. Come and join me as we discover another wonder in the world of English. Today, our main objective is to distinguish between general and specific statements. Later, you may ask questions regarding our lesson. For the meantime, type in the comment box your name and the name of your school. Remember to be polite and avoid unnecessary comments. All right, my dear learners, what comes into your mind when you see the words notebook, pad paper, pens, ruler, and crayons? What are they? Correct. Instantly, we can tell that this group of words refer to school supplies. How about shirts, pants, dress, and shorts? Of course, they refer to clothing. How about the words red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet? Yes, some of you may say that they are colors of the rainbow or basically colors. Now look. The words that are written in the boxes are examples of specific information, while those words inside the circles are what we call general information. How do we know if the statement or word are in general? When it is normally vague and represents a broad description of something. On the other hand, we call it specific information or statement when it is an exact, precise fact or description of something mentioned in the text. Let's have some examples. School children like reading poems. Brian is in fourth grade and likes reading poems. The word children is in general because it represents a broad idea, while Brian is specific because he is a precise example of a child. Next, in the previous year, the rate of unemployment increased. The unemployment rate has increased in year 2019 to 2020. Here, Previous year is a general information, while 2019 to 2020 refers to the specific year. Third, hundreds of families lost their houses in the fire last night. One of the affected families was the Reyes family who has nowhere to go. The word families is a broad concept. So, we have Reyes family as its specific representation. Next, my brother and I watch TV shows after our online class. We can help but laugh out really loud every time we watch Showtime. There are a lot of TV shows, so the specific representation of them is it's Showtime. Fifth, mother cooks delicious foods. We ate sinigang for lunch. We can think of various delicious foods, right? So, it's a general information. And sinigang is just one of those foods. Now, learners, in a paragraph or story, the general statement or information that we talked about can also be called main idea, while the specific statements are called supporting details. Let's have a deeper understanding of the two. A main idea helps readers understand what the story is mainly about. 
it may be stated in the first or last sentence. Find the main idea, read the entire paragraph first, then look for clue words that are used repeatedly. On the other hand, supporting details are sentences that support the main idea. They tell the what, where, when, who, why, and how of events, and also provide information to clarify, prove, or explain the main idea. Let's discuss further through this activity called What's in the Bag? I'll be pulling some items from the bag and kindly tell me through comments the main idea. Ready? What's in the bag? Guava, Guyabano, Atus. What are they? Yes, they are fruits. Now, guess what the main idea is? More likely, these are fruits that Filipinos love. What's in the bag? McDonald's, Jollibee, and Chow King. What are they? Right, they are fast food restaurants. What do you think is the main idea? It could be fast food restaurants are found everywhere. What's in the bag? Sneakers, slippers, and high heels. What are they? Correct, they are footwear. What could be the main idea? It could be footwear make our life comfortable. Let's have another example. Read the passage carefully and look for the main idea and its supporting details. An average beehive consists of about 20,000 bees. Within the colony, there are three types of bees, each with important jobs. There is only one queen bee in the hive, and her only job is to fill the hive with eggs. A queen will lay about 1,500 eggs a day. Male bees are called drones. Their only job is to mate with the queen. Worker bees, on the other hand, are extremely busy. They are female bees that lay no eggs. They tend the hive by taking care of the babies, building honeycombs, and keeping the hive cool. Some workers also leave the hive to collect nectar and pollen. Now, let's use this ice cream diagram to identify the main idea and supporting details. The cone which holds the ice cream is the main idea. Notice that the main idea is found in the second sentence of the paragraph. The ice cream scoops represent the supporting details wherein both are essential to fullness and completeness. Let's test our knowledge. Read each paragraph and choose the main idea. First paragraph. The rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops, one after another. The sky was full of dark purple clouds. Thunder began as a soft rumble and became louder and louder. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. What is the main idea? Is it A, B, C, or D? Type your answer below. Right. The answer is letter D. The storm was very strong. Second paragraph. Although many people think a koala is a bear, it is not. The koala is a type of mammal called marsupial. A kangaroo is also a marsupial. These mammals carry their babies in a pouch. 
the kangaroo's pouch is on its stomach while the koala's pouch is on its back. Both feed their baby's milk and keep them secure in their pouch until they are strong enough to survive on their own. What is the main idea? Is it A, B, C, or D? Correct! It's letter C. The kangaroo and koala are mostly alike but have some differences. Third paragraph. Lucy would never get her room clean. It looked like a tornado had hit it. She couldn't believe how much damage her friends had done. They pulled everything out and didn't put anything back. Glue was spilled all over her rug and fingernail polish was spilled on her bed sheet. They had even wiped their chocolate-covered fingers on her curtains. What a mess! What is the main idea? A, B, C, or D? Good! It's letter B. Lucy's friends are messy. Fourth paragraph. Tim and his family went fishing today. They stopped on the way to the lake and bought all their favorite snacks. When they got to the lake, they ate and then started fishing. Tim caught four fishes and his brother caught three. They laughed and gave each other a high five every time they caught a fish. The whole family had a great time. Maybe they would go fishing again soon. What is the main idea? Is it A, B, C, or D? Right! It's letter C. The whole family had a great time. Last paragraph. I love walking in the beach during summer rather than strolling in the big crowded malls in the Greater Manila area or GMA. The beach sets my mood and my mind at ease. I can see the sunshine that brightens up my day. The ocean breeze that looks so peacefully, the cool water that laps at my feet, and the wind that caresses my face, these what made me fall in love every time I am at the beach. While at the malls, you can hear loud voices of people laughing and walking leisurely around and doing shopping. What is the main idea? A, B, C, or D? Type your answer below. Nice! It's letter D. I love walking in the beach than strolling in the mall. Good job, grade 4! <laughs> to sum up, general information is normally vague and represents a broad description of something. On the other hand, we call it specific information or statement when it is an exact, precise fact or description of something mentioned in the text. As I always say, a smart child always asks, if you have questions about our topic, type them below. All right, this question is from Santiago A. de Guzman Elementary School. When can a general statement be useful, ma'am? Thank you for your question. General statements can be used as topic sentences in writing essays and narratives or as tran transition statements. Transition statements smoothly shift the reader's attention 
from one subject to another. Thank you for your questions, Valenzuelano learners. For this lesson, answer these activities in your module. What's new? What is it? What's more and what I can do? And assessment. Praise on to the next topic, which is about main idea, key sentences, and supporting details. Thank you for watching. And always remember that in any situation, education must continue. This is Valenzuela Live English 4, and once again, have a good day!